The Daily Mail was established by the brothers Alfred and Harold Harmsworth quite a long time ago in 1896. The newspaper looked rather different then. By about 1902, it became the world's biggest circulation newspaper with over a million, which is a lot in those days. The paper, fairly early on, represented the stance of supporting the fascist movement in Great Britain. And in the 1930s, there was an article by the owner, Lord Rothermere, in support of the Black Shirts, which was Oswald Mosley's fascist organisation. The paper supported the Nazis. They supported the Hitler during the 1930s. This newspaper article represented the Daily Mail of the 1930s. It was uh, a newspaper article which decried Jewish refugees fleeing from Nazi Germany to come to Great Britain. It could be a headline today with another group of people. My father was actually a teenager uh, escaping the Nazis to come to this country, and therefore I have some heartfelt feelings about this. The owner of the Daily Mail was a great friend of Adolf Hitler. Lord Rothermere, in case you are not aware, is on the left. <laughs> Now today, the same family is involved with owning and running the paper. Today, we have Jonathan Harmsworth, who is now the Lord Rothermere of today, who is running and owning the newspaper. Maybe not a lot has changed since the 1930s and the starts they had then.